Good morning, uh, Wednesday morning. I'm on here again. I was only on here on Monday. Um, remarkably, since I didn't accept dreadfully last night, um, I wonder if I always give a sleep update when I come on live and stuff. Hi, Selena. Um, anyway, yeah, despite sleeping dreadfully, uh, I've already been on Insta twice and now I'm on here. Um, yeah, I've been in the garage. If you're on Insta, um, go and have a look at that in my stories, Shelster H. <sighs> yeah, anyway, so what I've done, um, hi Chris, hi Betsify. I, uh, yeah, so I went to parcel shop Monday tea time-ish. had to go twice because I cocked up. I was so tired Monday from being out festivaling all weekend that I sent the wrong dress out to somebody. And, I, you know, I literally, I'm sure Monday was thinking, oh, I haven't done that in ages. And I sent the wrong dress. Um, so I tried to recall it through Hermes. And then they said, they eventually came back and said, oh, no, they didn't like the reference because it was saying it was, I don't think it was because it was through Shuttle. In the end, I just contacted the buyer and said, oh, I've sent you two dresses, you know, can I... Um, send you the money to return one and they're like yeah so it'll be all right um hi mick good morning good morning from sunny dorset um hi karen hi lex morning will Rooney. i like that hi dawn dawn's my middle name too much help. <laughs> well we did have the kids in tow chris but um I drank a lot of, uh, I mean, the drink that I could drink that I fancied was Magnus Dark. And um, I do actually remember saying to a friend who, who doesn't drink much now, I didn't drink that much anymore either. I've only had a few. Like, I'd had loads. <laughs> um, but we could just stuck at home from there, so it was quite good. Um, and it's going to be a busy one this weekend as well. So I'm out Friday night with some mummy friends to a to a Cuba revolution thing, you know, the rum cocktails. Then Saturday night is a friend I saw down at the festival's 50th. That will be, so I don't know if I'm gonna get 20 car boots this weekend because it's gonna be, oh God, I've just got to control myself because I just I just can't be doing with being that hungover. Um, hi Bronwyn, listing ahead. Lex, you're killing it, well done. Um, oh, Cheryl's been to the car, but are you doing a video or have we got a video? Um, I still can't, I still can't, I should be over that by now. But if anybody remembers the young ones and Vivian saying, have we got, and the next person says, have we got a video? I'm going, oh, he, he does something to, um, need another festival. Well, actually, Paul, we are off to camp festival in a week and, a week tomorrow, actually. Yeah, we go on the Thursday, and um, what did I just miss then? Uh, we go on the Thursday, and we'll be there coming back on the Monday. Um, oh. Oh, right. Oh, sorry, that isn't Karen, is it? It's... I, I misread it. It's crazy. Is it? Did I mix up with Crazy Mike? Hi, Crazy Mike. Um, yeah, that, that's just my error. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, camp festival. Again, the kids uh, camping with uh, another family who's got a little one. Um, but it's, it's easy. Yeah, Paul, you're, you're Glastonbury. I oh, really would really, really, really like some tickets for next year. Um, hi, Andrea. Oh, by the way, is that Andrea or Nick? Oh, yeah, it says Andrea, isn't it? That, I was watching the video back from Sunday, and when Nick, somebody got him to say, oh, somebody set an alarm for, of course, mine set an alarm for 5.30 in the morning. I was like, oh, God, oh, God, how do I cancel it? Um, so that's, that's a bad idea. Stop doing that, people. Um Anyway, yeah, I've got I've got more bits going on. I was really surprised at how much stuff went through on a Tuesday. I have got promoted running, and I'll tell you which ones sold and promoted. I am clearing stuff, and there's a couple of good sales as well. So, um, yeah, all good. Um, yeah, how's everybody's sales? 
let us know in the chat. Um, so yeah, at the moment I've got 741 listings and of those 448 have watches and actually I think every single one of these things that has sold, yeah, did have at least one watcher. So it is, um, it is I do like it as an indication of, of the interest and it might not have been a watch that bought, I just, I don't know, it's just reassuring to me to see that. Um, Oh, Lex, £35 only yesterday. So yesterday morning, I was just like, oh, God, it's a nightmare. I don't know what I'm doing, you know, that kind of thing. And then it was just steady all day. Um, cool, it was good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's going to be roasting at um, weather good at Glastonbury. It was going to, it's going to, well, it's due to be roasting at um, Camp Best Watch. It was one day last year. On the Saturday, it was roasting and one was getting burnt. Sunday, so torrential, they had to cancel the festival. Um, and tents were getting ruined and, yeah, it was mental. Um, and sales okay for the moment in the context of the summer slowdown. Don't have high numbers of listing. Well, that's all right then. Um, good weekend from Chris. Yesterday, about 40. Yeah, I think it's... Oh, actually, is this mostly... I think this is... Yes, yeah, mostly clothing, but I would like to move more towards not so heavy on the clothing because it is so, especially the women's clothing, women are fickle and, you know, something I picked up last year might not be a goer this year. Sarah Woolley, great, great week last week. So far this week, sold two things, one of which was a half price offer. Ooh. Sounds really good and all, so that's good. For Bronwyn, eleven things yesterday. Only have two hundred and eighty listed. Yeah, you yeah you were saying you need less stuff out there, and, it, and it's working all right. Pike, Andrea, six sales already this morning. That's great. That's picking up them. Clothing is slow. Yeah, actually, I'm wondering. Yeah, because some of this stuff I'm clearing. Oh, there's some. You might be going. Oh, you shouldn't let it go for that when you see some of this stuff, but. I get myself in a pickle with just wanting to get rid of stuff and move into other stuff. So, yeah, you'll see what I mean by that. Um, oh, that's right, Paul. Yeah, yeah, I was. Yeah, that's right. I was in the store last year. It was just because we were like waiting every hour for an update to see whether they were going to put the festival on or not, and it was just apparently it was too unsafe for the artists, so we all had to go home. Um, so hopefully it won't be that this year. But yeah, just roasting actually a festival. It's hard when you can't get sheltered, but it's better than it tipping it down. Whoa, Lex. Eight and a half K in 60 days. That's great, because I know you don't pay up stuff either, so that actually is quite meaningful. Um, oh, Bronwyn. Women's clothes does so much better here, so that's in Oz than men's. Well, yeah, I suppose volume-wise, more would sell more sells here than men's, but the market, I guess, is so much more flooded with women's here. Um, slow week for Al. Oh, Sarah, one, two, four items to auction. I was thinking about auctions the other night. I might, I might, I might chuck some to auction tonight. Somebody, I was watching uh, Hustle Hustle at Home Mom, and she was saying about. Setting up, I think she sets a few auctions to go every day and to drive traffic, which is an idea that Lex does as well. But anyway, I'm going to show you what's going out. Let's not be here all day. Right, this is something that you will be thinking, oh, for goodness sake, what did you sell it for that for? It's a lovely skirt. I think it's linen. Toast. Um, oh, that's lovely. Um I think it's got, has it got pockets? Anyway, yeah, it's lovely. It's got, to be fair, it is quite short, shorter though, and I would prefer longer stuff um, for selling because it literally, it sold for £16 and I'd had it up higher and I've had watches for ages and I couldn't sell it. I'd paid £9.50 for it as well. So basically I've made £3.50 on it, but I am just happy that it's going out the door. So I also... This sounds ridiculous, but I was like also starting to panic with stuff like this that gets watches and never sells. Oh my god, I'm going to be left with it at the end of the summer and it's never going to sell. Even though I know I've sold like a bikini on Christmas Day before, I wouldn't. 
I wouldn't pick up like, would I? I don't even know, would I? But it's too short. I, in this weather, people are gonna wear this, but also as check-in, I don't even know. Um, anyway, I'm getting my money back. I can reinvest it in something I feel more confident in. Um, yeah, there we go. And hopefully my one-off has not tanked the price of toast skirts. Um, then, oh, here's another. This is something I was getting rid of. I have no idea what I paid for it originally. It's been on for flipping well over a year, I'm sure, or a good year. It's a grey Cardi. Paul Costello Dressage, which I think was meant to be an all right brand, went for eight pounds, unpromoted. Um, I've literally, this is another one of those things I'm just trying to clear, so I'm happy to see the back of that. Um, incredibly, if you saw my Insta, um, I'm having like some kind of mini Gantt festival at the moment. And actually this, I showed a really similar Gantt shirt and it is going to the same bloke, which is unfortunate. He bought one and it went off on Monday, I showed it. And then I had another one, that was a button down and this isn't a button down, same size. And then he bought this one like a day later and he would have got some kind of combination if he'd have checked them out at the same time. But they go, what did it sell for? 25 pounds, no idea. Can't remember what he paid, but imagine five, six pounds or something. So that's all good. Um, Oh, oh, you use all your monthly auction allowance. What level shop are you on? I'm on the middle. And yeah, I still need to be on the middle right now. Um, uh, yeah, to be honest, Bronwyn, if we didn't have auctions as part of our allowance, I don't think I'd ever use them. But, you know, if it drives traffic, then you just try everything at the moment, don't you? Well, Chris, it's more annoying for him because it, it's going, I've forgotten where it's going, but somewhere on GSP and he's paid extra, you know, he, he would have got some kind of combination thing. So, um, daft bugger. Um, right, this is an m &S cable knit new jumper. Guys, I got this. It was in the sale, like the Sue sale. So I think I got it for about four pounds. Knew it's 29.50 and it's gone for 18. So it's about an 11 pound profit, which is fine for me. Ideally, I'd like about a tenner out of everything minimum, ideally. Well, ideally more, but um, yeah, that's fine. I have had it since, since about January or something. So it's good that's going. Um, I don't know about this Segna. I mean, this is Segna Sport. Does Sport usually indicate that it's not as good as, like, the Segna itself? Is it a cheaper when it's Sport? I have no idea. Um, because this went for... Paid a fiver for this. Went for 19. Yeah, so again, about £11 profit. Um, I'm not at that long, but I wasn't. it wasn't getting much interest. So, um, yeah, I think I dropped it slight. Oh, no. That's a lie. It had loads of watches, but no one was buying. I'm like, why aren't you buying? So I just dropped it by a quid just to, um, and I dropped it by a quid or did I do offer to watch? I think it was offered to watch it, just quid off, just to like, stim you know, like remind people to buy. I sometimes I just knock a pound off just to say, and I was trying to clear it and then I knock loads off. But sometimes it's just like, oh, if you've forgotten this, pound off. And yeah, that one went. So that's fine. Um, Yes, if you saw my, oh, I don't them. Oh, they're down there. Um, if you saw my Insta this morning, I was Chris sold a retro kettle to a TV company post the next day, and then they bought a retro toaster. Mind you, that's trying to pack those together would have been a nightmare, wouldn't it? Forget the brand, sixteen pounds is a good price for a skirt. Yeah, it is, but I still think some brands you expect more out of. It's it's more the the height. I mean, the length of it. I think that I think that's the issue. Zegna's a bit slow. Yeah, I think the only reason I um, 
started picking Zegner up was because of Ronnie Hart in America because he talks about Zegner and I um I get all excitable when I see stuff that the Americans have talked about <laughs> that's it, it? <laughs> can't help it I can imagine them saying it in my head um <laughs> oh yeah so if you saw my answer this morning um I have a pair of these salt waters chuffed a bit to find these I just ran into the Chazza the other day um when I was on my way to drop Connie to hip hop class she ran into the parcels I ran into the Chazza um and I was like clearly this isn't on their little golden list yet because um I never buy shoes from there they're always priced quite highly I yeah I've never I don't think I've ever picked any up from there these were £4.50 and because I know these salt waters because I have a pair which these are actually my size and my pair so similar to this as well um which I paid 50 or 60 pounds for or something but they're really gorgeously comfy these they have marked up £4.50 I couldn't believe my luck. Um, and had they been a different colour, I'd have just kept them, to be honest. But I thought, oh, a price, um, like a price that I think will go pretty quickly, put them on for 40 and they sold within a few hours. So that's great. Um, good £30 profit off those. Um, uh, this is a bit of a fail. It's a fail in, well, it's a fail in terms of profit. <laughs> Um, but it's a gorgeous shirt. Um, it's a Joe Brown's. Just look at this tropical print. I love it. Um, I did actually pay paid too much, really. What did I pay? Paid a tenner, which I shouldn't have done. Um, but because I loved it myself, which I do get uh, drawn into. It's sold and promoted, even though it is an annoying thing. But basically, somebody contacted me and said I'd reduce it down to 18. And they said, Would I take 16? And because I'd watched on it for ages, I'm like, God, I don't want to be left with it at the end of the summer. I just replied, Yep, 16, just take it. it made, I made like three quid on it, but at least I'm getting my money back and it wasn't a loss. Um, but it was, they must have messaged through a promoted listing, say, so pay promoted fees on it. Um, but it is it's lush, isn't it? I just love that. Um, yeah, I do pick things up because I love them. It's not always wise to pay too much. Um, this is a clearance thing. Where are you? Timberland. I saw this once before for quite a lot more, but now I just polos. I'm just trying to get rid of them. It's just a Timberland Earthkeeper's polo, which went for six pounds. Unpromoted, just trying to clear stuff. If it goes for six or eight, it's me trying to clear stuff. Um, Boom. Oh, yeah, paper chase. I'm still getting rid of my paper chase organisers. Got a few left. This one went for £15. I used to pick them up happily, as happy as I would see a file of that last year. Don't know what happened, but they suddenly stopped selling for me. That went for 15 I would have paid a pound or two, so that's fine. I would have got, still got like a good tenner out of that. Um, so that's all good. Then, um, this sold this morning actually. Um, this is a Rohan. Rohan's a good seller for me. Um, it's a linen short sleeve t -shirt, uh, shirt. Uh, paid a fiver, went for 20, about a 12 quid profit. That's all good. I think I did have watches for quite a while, and I dropped the price trying to encourage them to buy and then put it back up to 20 and it sold. So, that's all fine. Um, what else have we got? Um, this, this is just an M&S pink cardi. This was an offer to watch. Uh, again, just trying to clear this sort of thing. I wouldn't just pick up a random card. Well, it had a bit of cashmere in it, and I just picked anything up with cashmere in it last year. Um, it, oh, it came through as a £10 sale. But then I had a message from somebody saying, I tried to accept your offer of eight and it's gone through at 10, so I've just refunded a couple of quid. So that's fine. It's another clearance then. Um, really enjoying getting rid of this clearance stuff. Um, then, all right. Oh, another quick flip. 
So the salt waters, and I also listed this yesterday. Good old cross stitch, did pay eight pounds for it, but it sold for 20 quid plus shipping in a few hours. So about nine pound profit on that, happy with that. Um, and then, what else have we got? Um, not your daughter's jeans, I know, are pretty sticky these days, but I picked them up because I was at a car boot and, look how high waisted there. Um, I was at a car boot, there were 50p and like, oof, I've got to pick them up. And I dropped them recently, I think, and had them on promoted. Oh no, had them on promoted. Then I did an offer to watcher of 16 pounds yesterday. And I think I only had one watcher. I was like, try and get these sold and they bought them. So it was about 12 good profit, which is absolutely fine. Um, so they do still sell, but not like these are sell for like 20, 25. And then last then is a Levi's shirt. Still pick up Levi's shirts. I, I, so, well, I like selling shirts, but I quite like selling Levi's stuff as well because it's got a bit of a following. I did pay nine pounds for this. It's just blue. It's not anything. Uh, it's a white tag. I don't know what, what's the more popular actually. Um, <clears throat> I'm assuming red tags. Uh, yeah, paid nine with 23. So it's about, got my 10 pounds out of it. So that's fine. That is fine. Hi, Karen. <clears throat> yeah, watch back later. Yeah, good day yesterday. Um, why is Lex talking about sex education? Interestingly, <clears throat> Maud's got a sex education today. Just for your information. This sounds a weird text saying they're going to be watching a film on mammal, the life cycle of mammals today. So why... Why have you put it like that? We know they're having their sex education. That's weird. The school sent the word text. Um, I've lost the thread of that. Um, anyway, yeah. So that's that. Yes, I'm pretty. Not one note or yeah, I'm pretty. I'm happy. Happy with that. Um, in the green again. Yeah, well done, Karen. Oh, Sophie's got hers as well. I wonder if they all have it on the same day. Bizarre. So looking forward to it. Yeah. I couldn't work out this morning because she said, oh, we're going to get separated. I couldn't work out in this day and age whether they really still need to do that. I didn't know whether it was better for the girls because if they're going to talk about periods, they feel less awkward or... Or, she, or are we just making it still, people still feel awkward about talking about it by doing things like separating them off? I couldn't work it out. Couldn't work it out. Yeah, so right, I'm going to do my packaging and take this stuff to the parcel shop, on my bike, hopefully. Um, yeah, is there anything else to add to that? Yeah, if you want to see a um, quick tour of my garage, head over to my... Insta, shells to H, and it's in my stories. I think boys may take Mickey out periods and girls about wet dreams. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if we should just be more open about everything these days. I'm, we're pretty open in this house, so I um, don't know. Uh, right, oh, thanks, uh, 37 people have tuned in and three people have thumbs up. And... Uh, enjoy the summer i am so loving being able to go out without a jacket just day after day at the moment it is fabulous and um may the ebay sales be with you see you later